Straight from the 757, it's the re Radio Show, where we encourage everyone, everywhere, to re-envision everything. Here is your host, No Malice, and the Iceman. What's up, what's up, what's up? We are back, top of the year, and welcome to the re Radio Show where we encourage everyone everywhere to re-envision everything. I am your man, No Malice, and I am here with the Iceman Ice. What's going on? Man, I'm here, man. We got a cool theme song, don't we, man? Yeah, man, I agree. I agree. Feeling all right? Feeling all right, man. Yeah. Okay, we about to to set this thing off, man. And Ice, you had said to me earlier that we are going to tear the temple down and bring it back up again. All the way down. Y'all have a new place to come to come this Sunday. You That's know, right. Come That's this right. Sunday. All right, all right, all right. Um, for those that don't know, we are talking about John, chapter two, verses nineteen through twenty-one. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Amen. Then said the Jews. Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. All right, come on. All right, all right, all right. So now, what you were talking about, we're going to tear down some of these myths, Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because uh, starting off in this new year, man, there there are just some things that need to be done away with, man. And -hmm. we've suffered these things far too long. So today, we're going to talk about the biblical Imagery and the depictions of Hollywood Jesus. Hollywood, blonde haired, handsome Jesus. <laughs> handsome yeah. Jesus. Okay, all right, Ice. I've been accused of uh, very far and few between, but of worshiping the white man's God, okay? And I don't even reply to that because I thought that was old news. I already thought we was over that hump of Jesus being white. I thought we all understood that fact by now. But apparently there are many that are still out there who feel the need to voice this opinion. Well, they were confused 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years later, they still confused. Still confused. Yeah. Still confused. All right, Ice. I want to definitively state that Jesus is not white. No. But Santa Claus is uh, Santa Chris Kringle. Santa Claus is white. Mr. Saint Nick. All right. Yeah. Don't, do not hear me. Yeah. No black Santa. Oh, no. Listen, oh, no. in the same way that I'm not dealing with no white yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Santa yeah. Claus yeah. is white. Chocolate ought not be white. Does it? Man, some yeah. things just ought not be. Ought not be. That's right. All right. All right. <laughs> Bla- yeah. Hey, you was telling me something about Bree and Portsmouth. What Man, happened? We, we went to Brianna was a little, a little girl. Uh-huh. So we going to Portsmouth. Santa Claus was over there. We saw that Santa Claus. Santa Claus was six foot seven, dark skin with big boots on. Brianna said, Daddy, I ain't going to sit on his lap. No <laughs> kind of way. And I looked at Bree. I said, Bree, I, I kind of don't blame you. Because you know, Santa said, Claus is white. Santa Claus is white. Do not even yeah. play with me. Don't even play yeah. with me. All right, all right. Uh, Ice, the story of the gospel, as we know, it is it's just so intriguing, so mysterious, so profoundly amazing. To start getting caught up in skin tone is just like missing the forest for the trees. My man uh, at Plesco 007, he brought this to, to my attention, mm-hmm. and he said, speak to the brothers how to get past Jesus being portrayed as a white man. They are losing eternal life over this and i think you know he made a very significant point bro it's almost it's almost kind of condescending it's like it's it's elementary you know it, i thought we like you said i right. thought we would be over this right it's almost boring like see jane run yeah but run elementary you know, it, it, it's so you're elementary, right you're right you know what i mean but the thing is though i say and the thing that i understand about it if you see a loophole in the beginning, mm-hmm. you don't want to carry it no further. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go no further because mm-hmm. you have already spotted a mm-hmm. flaw. Mm-hmm. So you think that the whole thing is wrong. And that's a reasonable man's thinking. But don't miss salvation over mm-hmm. this skin mm-hmm. tone thing. Mm-hmm. Let's not do that. Be satisfied. Just like you said, y'all already got Santa Claus. Yeah, you, you got Santa white, Claus. You, know? you got yeah. Santa Claus. Can't make everybody white. You yeah. right. You right. All right. Yeah. All right. So listen, then to follow up uh, at Daniel underscore in a underscore den, that's Daniel in a den. Um, he says, 
as a white man, I appreciate this. Oddly enough, in my life, this comes up mostly with other white people. Mm -hmm. Pretty tired of sexy white Jesus mm -hmm. is what he says. Mm -hmm. So let's do our mm -hmm. best right now to uh, try to put a try to put an end to this because it's causing people to throw the baby out with the yeah, bathwater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some <laughs> they determine that this world is determined to have him blue eyed, white, blonde. They want to make him a a Hollywood star. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And man, I I could understand it. You know, if they say Jesus was white. I was un I could understand it if Jesus was born somewhere in in Scandinavia or somewhere <laughs> or in Norwegian. <laughs> right, you know, I, right, I it, right. Jesus, cause he gonna be white up right, there. Right, right. But he was born down. No from, biblical basis, no whatsoever. biblical fact, except make him white. Yeah, everybody, everybody down by the close to the equator. Everybody down there dark skin except but Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, man. But G, I I gotta say this, G, when I was coming up. Looking at the Tarzan movies in the fifties, <laughs> everybody black Africans running around. Everybody they've been there for two, three hundred years. Uh huh. Af 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 African. Mm hmm. Could nobody talk to the animals but a white man? <laughs> <laughs> she the only one could talk Hollywood. to her, you know what it is. You yeah. know, got monkeys and, and elephants and everybody old being. The community there, couldn't know. figure that out, but here he coming. He got it all down pat. He come, you know, just like that. You know, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm go I'm going to read this uh scripture right here, Ice, and it's coming from Ephesians 2, 11 through 15. Bear with me for a quick minute. All right, take it. Wherefore, on. remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ, Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. Amen. Who hath made both one and hath broken down the enmity even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new <laughs> man. OK, so he has made peace, reconciled us unto him between the circumcision and the uncircumcision by faith. So making peace and we're going to tear that down by skin color. Didn't say black man, didn't say white man, didn't say red, yellow, no man. What God was talking about then was making a peculiar. That's right. A peculiar man. That's and right. Just like I said, uh, you know, that you preaching there because that's the scripture said exactly what you said. I that's get right. It. That's right. I get exactly what the we don't go. Look, look, this world here. 2019. They ain't figured out yet that they can go to church without a suit on. I don't expect them to get that scripture. They still worrying about double-breasted suits and all that. I get it, man. I get it. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a quick minute, and uh, we're going to catch our breath, and we're going to come back and expound on this a little more. All right. <laughs> listen to me good. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. I walked up in one of them mega churches. I told everybody, y'all need to get the hell out of church. Listen to me good, listen to me good, listen to me good. All right, I so uh, what we were talking about um, in the scriptures, and I, we're in Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verses 11 through 15. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm just going to recap on the, on the tail end of it because we had already covered it. But it says, now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are now made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the enmity, even the law of the commandments contained in ordinances, for to make himself of two, one new man, so making peace. So Amen. for all of that jargon that, you know, people who may not understand what's happening is by his bloodshed, by the sacrifice of his life, 
he hath made everyone through him mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. available mm-hmm. by faith, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And through his bloodshed, once he's done all of that, we want to tear and make separation and division by things such as skin tone and skin color. Now, I believe he needs to be depicted correctly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or according to the facts. Mm-hmm. But do not miss salvation behind the color of his skin when the blood has been shed. How you feel about that? I feel like them dummies going to be standing at the crossroads, going to be standing <laughs> at the judgment seat looking right at God. Oh, oh, I he white. I want to go back. You know, <laughs> right. he's white. I don't want to go in. You know, that's exactly how I feel about that. Listen, man, but, listen. Go but ahead, this, go this, ahead. This, this, I want this, this, this elementary scripture. All of us grew up with this elementary scripture. John 3, 16. Go ahead. Say it. God so loved the world. That's right. That that's whosoever right. believeth on him shall have eternal life. God, he gave his only begotten son. That's right. He gave Jesus to the world, not black folk. Not white folk. I like it. Look, man. Go ahead. Adam didn't wear no dreadlocks. Eve didn't put on no suntan lotion. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all this way because y'all need to know this. That, that y'all, some people are dumb as a slug. They still trying to hold on to they, they race, they color, they this and that. Man, and I'm sitting here, and I mean this. Even if Jesus was white. Mm-hmm. That's having to be. I'm giving y'all that. Y'all say he white. Still got to get saved. Still got to get saved. Still got to be washed clean with the blood of the lamb. And the blood is red. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Let's take it. And this is just uh, tailgating off of what you just said. Uh, in John um, chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, it says, The same was in the beginning with God. Mm-hmm. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Mm-hmm. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Mm-hmm. All right, man. He has made everything. Everything. There is nothing yeah. that does not belong yeah. to him. Yeah, he made it. Everything. Yeah. All of mankind. Yeah. No separation. He made it all. Everything yeah. is his creation. Yeah. Man, I I saw a picture. I was going in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I saw a magazine. They had a picture of Mary Magdalene holding Jesus. Both of them were just as white as can be. (laughs) Just as white. Look, look, yo, you got to be, got to be. Look, you remember when King? Not Mary Magdalene, no. Not mother. Well, not you know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, but since they ain't the right color, you ain't no telling who that was. No telling. She could have been standing there for him. Yeah, it could have been Martha Stewart. You could. (laughs) But look, man. Yeah. Realistically, mm-hmm. in that era, time close to, to the equator, everybody with with dark skin. I get the the region. Oh, uh, oh, you remember when the king was killing, was gonna kill all the babies? That's right. And and Joseph got the baby out of town. That's right. A white Jesus, uh huh, baby Jesus would have stood as much chance of getting out of Jerusalem as I would at a Ku Klux Klan meeting. That's right. That's right. You man. know, that's that's how silly that stuff they talking about. You know, you're right. And it's You're so right. Ele- and they need to know. They need to know. Man, I'm Jesus. dumb enough just to believe that Christ looked like the people of that region, so man. Like the people that, but we ain't we ain't gonna, you know, harp on that because yeah. they, you know, it's it's just biblically sound. If you're not biblically sound, then you know, yeah. it, it can go any yeah. kind of way. Uh for me, I refer to the Ten Commandments, and this is going to alle- alleviate all black, purple, red, and all of that. It says, Thou shalt make, shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. So to me, it just is telling me now, it's a clear indication, I am not to set my sights on any graven image, any makeshift model, or any of the things that people, you know, try to put on us. Now that's powerful, Gene. Yeah. That's powerful. It is like, it's the first commandment, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. All right now, Ice, I can't get on my high horse uh, too too fast because I have to admit, I had one of the coldest Jesus pieces. Mm-hmm. Yellow gold, mm-hmm. yellow diamonds, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Cuban link mm-hmm. chain, mm-hmm. and 
You might even think I was saved just by wearing it. You were. You had two spotlights. On <laughs> <laughs> two spotlights. With his eyes show you the way. That's you know, right. He said he was the light. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. man. Listen. Yeah. I mean, and, and I have to admit, I really felt that I it was some kind of nobility with having the Jesus charm mm -hmm. as opposed to any other charm. You mm -hmm. know, it was like, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm still cool with God kind of a thing. Kind made, of a, made you feel holy, didn't it? A little bit. Yeah. You know, I I have, if I if I were to tell the truth, yeah, you know. Yeah, smoking that gun back in the day and rubbing that thing right there all at the listen, same time. Listen, you know listen, yeah, I mean? man, I was, yeah. I, 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 I was cold and holy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and like we said, it had the diamonds, the yellow yeah. diamonds in yeah. the eyes, and yeah. the scripture says. Pure gold. Yeah, yeah. The scripture says the idols of the heathen are silver and gold. All right. So yeah. it, it already called me out. Yeah. I'm a heathen. Yeah. All right. The work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. They have eyes, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So the, the manufacturers of these things have just mm -hmm. been called mm -hmm. out. God mm -hmm. saying, you ain't even got no business making mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. All right. And so is everyone that trusteth in them. So everyone who trusts in them are like unto them. Mm -hmm. Dead. Mm -hmm. Dead. Eyes yeah. can't see, ears yeah. can't hear, mouths can't yeah. speak. Yeah. What happened to it, man? I put it in the collection plate, Ice. I bet you go there the next Sunday to preach a man to have around his neck. <laughs> you, know, you know, when she saw that, thing, you think he going to hey, hold I, on. I might have had to do something yeah, to him if I had saw that. You, you, but, yeah, I put it I put it in the collection in the plate, collection man. plate, your 10%. You know what? People may say, or somebody may say, you know, uh, you could have gave it to me. You could have yeah, gave it to me. Yeah, but yeah. really it was a thing of that's where my heart was, yeah. attached to that yeah, thing. Yeah. My heart was attached to it, so yeah. I got rid of it to to kind of like even show myself like I can't be that so connected to it. Yeah. I didn't know how to wear it and mm -hmm. appreciate it for what it was. Mm -hmm. But I, that, that was your bus token to him, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that was your token, man. You yeah, know? man. So yeah. so for me, it was more than just giving it away or to who I gave it to. It was just a declaration that. This is my mm -hmm, trust is mm -hmm. not in I get this. It, I get it. It was yeah. actually yeah. a tearing down yeah. of the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we to be it up. to be yeah. rebuilt up. Yeah. Start again. Yeah. Try it again. Yeah. Get the book "Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked." It's time to take off your cool. Available on iTunes and Amazon. Now, I um, I don't want to put you on the spot, even though I doubt you can be put on the spot, <laughs> but um. I, if you would, I want you to share uh, the vision that you had, that you told me about that time uh, a, a, a while back. Mm -hmm. But, but mm -hmm. you know, share as much as, as you care to share about mm -hmm. it, you know. I will. If you, if you would. I will. You know, like I always say, you know, I keep some things you keep to go. People think you're crazy when you're, so you keep stuff. But I told you, man, you tight. But anyway, man, I was, I was in my apartment praying. I was praying about something. I ain't talking about one of them pretty prayers. Man, I was down in Cyclops and Ashes. Going and through it. Going through it, man. It was tight. It was rough that, that particular day. So I'm in that apartment praying. I'm bowed down, face to the ground, just just like I want to know yeah. what you was going through. See that? See, see that? See, <laughs> I want to know. Well, no, go ahead. Go, now, ahead, go uh, ahead. I got so I'll tell you after this. You know. Okay. All but right. but uh, uh, I was praying. I was praying hard. And then all of a sudden, I saw the end of a robe. Mm-hmm. And then I saw some feet. And I knew won't nobody supposed to be in that room but, but me by myself. Somebody was standing right over me, just like that. Man, I was too scared to look up. I kind of figured it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I ain't going, you know, I ain't going through that trip then, you know what I mean? Right. I kind of figured, but I know I was too scared to look up to even see who it was. And I'm looking, and then I'm bowed down, and it came to me. I said, I'm gonna see, is he black or white? At this time, cause I want to know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. When I looked down again, I saw the sandals, and all I could see was his feet were brown brass or whatever, you know what I mean. But I won't going through all that then, cause I'm still too scared, scared to look up. I just kept running on praying. Then all of a sudden, a calm came over me, just like that. I was calm as you can get, but I still didn't look up. I was still scared to mm -hmm. look up, man. Then fast as it came. And went away just like that. And I'm sitting there. First thing I said, I, you, 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 uh, you, you, was it black or white? 
you know, where I didn't know what to say. I left that alone. And that right. was 50 years ago, man. I ain't How long? That been about 50 years ago. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, listen, when you told me that, it reminded me of this scripture, and that's why I wanted you to share. And you told the story the exact same way you yeah, told it to me yeah, then. Yeah. But um, the scripture is uh, Revelations chapter 1, verses 14 through 18, and it says, His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Come on. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Come on. Yeah. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Hmm. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he led his and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Man, I, I went through that. Now, I'm not saying I'm no better than nobody else. Because I mean, we know I'm, you ain't. I, I, I'm, I, I'm your stick man. Me and you hang out together. <laughs> All I know, I won't go look up, you know. Mm -hmm. I will sometime. He said he fell to his feet as though that's, dead. That's, where, that's another thing. That's another thing. I fell out just like that. Just like, man, I was, I was. I was Don't start took, adding to the story. I'm, I'm not adding to it, but it all took right, me a right. minute. <laughs> took me a minute to get myself together by, right. I, 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 after right. that experience. You well, know let me I mean? let me. I can even speak to that because yeah. the revelations that I have had yeah. and, and the visions that I have seen once it's over, I'm done. I'm done. As all yeah. of my yeah. my energy yeah. has been totally yeah. zapped and yeah. drained. So I I know what you're talking about. But man, it's it's, it's for your rest of your life. It's profound up in your mind. In your heart, and most of all, is profound in your spirit. Mm -hmm. I know I, they can they can make they can make Jesus any color they want to. That's their business. I know we got to worship Him in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth. In spirit you know, and, and, and spirit and spirit and in truth. In truth. That's the way you got. Don't to tell me about no letter J and the J didn't I, come to I, the 16th I, I, I century. I'm not attached me, to no me J. Neither. Me neither. I'm attached to the spirit. Me neither. Amen. Yeah, Amen. That, Amen. Jesus. Definitely. And also, uh, now I believe that the Jesus that they just described was his um, glorified. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Not 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 sure. his earthly body. Sure. But I'm not I'm not caught up in the color. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Um, let's just hit some verses real quick that that are contrary to you know Jesus being uh, a white man, as though him being from the line of David and the tribe of Judah is not enough. Um, let's take it to Isaiah 53, uh, two. And I didn't see too many verses that described him, but let's take it here. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. Hmm. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Okay, this isn't talking about whether he's he's uh, white or whatever color. Mm -hmm. This is not talking about that. But this is stating unequivocally that there is no beauty about him that we should desire. I get it, Gene. That I other man is pretty. I get it. Pretty. As it come. That other man is pretty. The other man that is uh, hanging up in the churches and in the households. And, hey, look. And I, you you, I, you called me out about my Bruce Springsteen yeah, that's in my house yeah, downstairs. Yeah, but listen, yeah. all these white images, one of them had to at least sneak in my house. <laughs> one of, well, of, at least he, one. He, he in everybody's house. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You better believe he, he in everybody's house. But we don't worship him. No, we don't worship Man, him. Man, you even told me about something about how your dad put tape over yeah, the face. Explain yeah. that. My daddy didn't my daddy didn't play. He bought this real beautiful barber and it had a picture of a uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Spring, you know, oh, 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 <laughs> my daddy went out and bought some masking tapes. Oh, no, we can't have. Daddy, when he worshiped a cross, 
I hear you that. You wouldn't even a graven image. Right. He stuck literally to the word. If you nail a cross up in his wall at his house, man, that a head down in the trash can in a minute. That's the way he rolled. That yo. ain't happening. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Yo, also, um, Matthew uh, chapter 26, verses 48 and 49, it says, Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. Mm -hmm. And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. Okay, of course, we're talking about Judas Iscariot mm -hmm. when betraying Jesus, mm -hmm. identified Jesus by giving him mm -hmm. a kiss. Mm -hmm. This, um, I feel, is an indication that it was nothing that, you know, you had to kiss him to show who he was. Mm -hmm. it, 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 when we think of Jesus and being the son of God, a lot of us think automatically he's going to stand out amongst yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah You yeah, know? Yeah. So I, th I thought that, too, gave, you know, some kind of indication that. Look, look, compared to Hollywood and the way they depict everybody pretty, because Hollywood is just a pretty place. Mm -hmm. But dig this, man. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Mm-hmm. He would be standing right in the midst of all the other people, standing right with the us. And the scribes and Pharisees would come and say, where is this Jesus? That's right. Where is he? Jesus Christ would be standing, the son of God, standing right in the midst of the other people. They didn't even know who he was. That's he right. was just standing up there looking just like the rest of the people. Mad at hell, no doubt. Feet dusted from the hedges and highways. From being out. Road, from being out. Out road, there in the street. Dusted, out in the street. Getting his grind on. Did you hear what I tell you? The That's Bible right. said, foxes have hold, but the son of man had nowhere to, to lay, lay his, his head. head. And when they found out who Jesus was, he didn't even want the fan flare. He eased away. That's right. And he even told people, don't you go tell what I yeah, did for you. Yeah, yeah, He'd heal people. Yeah. Keep it quiet. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way Jesus rolled. You know? And it also, real quick, it reminds me of, uh, the scripture, um, what were we just talking about, Ice? Help me out real quick. Help me out real quick. Uh, no beauty. Uh, oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. 53. I think it's Isaiah 50. No beauty, no comeliness, you were yeah, saying. Yeah, no, no, no comeliness yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, Um, Um, the scripture. Oh, God uses the lesser things. Always. To confound yeah, the wise. Yeah, always. So he's not using the biggest, the strongest, the prettiest, yeah, the most handsome. Yeah, yeah. David and Goliath. yeah. Yeah. He used the lesser things. David couldn't even fit the armor that, right. that his brother had given and, him, right? I told his brother, that, take, take yeah, this. That, you know, that's a horrific story. Listen, yeah, God yeah, uses yeah. the lesser yes, things always. to confound always. the wise. And I might have said this before, like you said, like you said, you know what I mean? The I, things I, that are despised, yeah, he uses yeah, them. Yeah, I might have said this before because I got a tendency to repeat myself. I think David was, I think Goliath was a dumb dude. He was just dumb. <laughs> to see a little boy in a rock come up with a slingshot, you know what I mean? Should have known something was, was up. Should have known something was up. Should have known have. something yeah. was up. That's what he get. John chapter 4, verses 23 through 24. But the hour coming, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. 